Okay, here we are back inside Matrix Gold once again. Uh, today, we're just going to make something very simple. <laughs> Keep it simple, right? Uh, and uh, let's get going on it. Uh, today, we'll just grab a ring rail. We'll just keep it as size uh, seven, and then we'll take that. And right away, we'll just go ahead and add a profile to that. And we're gonna change that profile to something a little bit different. I'm just gonna take this one here uh, and then take that. And then we have this one out here, right? Okay, so we have it centered up there at the top, uh, but we want to uh, drag it over. We want a pretty good distance. I mean, uh, about a one or something like that. And our top is 2.3. We'll just drag it down to a two because we don't want it uh, standing out too much. We don't want a you know, four millimeter shank or something. And right away, we're just going to go ahead and mirror that uh, profile over to the other side. And then we'll take that. Uh, and then I'll select those two profiles and we'll go to our surfaces and I'll just do planar curves on them. And we'll give it some shading here. All right, so we have these out here. I'll go ahead and take my yellow, turn it to gray, and hide it for right now. Uh, I'm going to go to my blend, uh, and then I'm going to chain edges. And I'll just select this edge over here, and then this edge over here, pretty close to the same area for the most part. Uh, and then we'll just go ahead and hit enter. And now I can do all kind of adjustments here if I wanted to. I could go to curvature. Uh, something like that uh, you can kind of play around with whatever you're you're wanting you can lock these and then uh, kind of make it up more or less what wherever you're trying to go for uh, we'll just go ahead and say that's something that I kind of like or whatever uh, and we'll go ahead and okay and the first thing I'm going to do is go in and check see how much my depth is so we got one two maybe two and a half something like that somewhere around there so we'll go ahead and say that's uh, pretty good for us. Uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, take all this green. We'll go to tools and then we'll just join uh, parametric join it together and then hit enter. Uh, we'll take that. Uh, let's see, which one do we want? We'll take this. I think, yeah, we'll get rid of that. Delete it. We'll delete this one and we will delete that one. So we just have that out there. Uh, I don't want to do that. Uh, and check it, close poly service, so we should be good to go. So from here, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take that, go to my transform, polar array, and we're going to polar array, I don't know, maybe 27. So we have something like that. Pretty cool. Uh, let's drop it down. You can play around with these numbers to get something that you're looking for. Let's go to 26. Uh, the main thing is is you do not want to have gaps in there you want them touching so i think 27 is uh my lucky number uh so we'll go ahead and say that's what we want and we'll hit enter uh now i'm going to go ahead and grab that ring well because uh as you can tell when we first did them we did the all the way around so we need to make that uh, inside so i'm just going to drag that out i'm going to select it i'm going to drag it back and i'm going to cap a cap it right so we have a closed surface there we have closed surface there so we'll just go to our solids and do a boolean difference this will be our first surface this will be our second surface and there we go we should have an item out there that's okay and that cut them all out so we're good to go from here all right, uh, so that's uh, the base of our ring so you can do all kind of uh, stuff with uh, this thing here huh uh i mean just by itself it's it's not a not a bad band right uh but we're going to go ahead and uh, do a little bit more manipulation to it we're going to go ahead and extract an iso curve uh we'll accept this here uh we're going to extract an iso curve and we'll have to hold down shift and control to select that one and what we want to do is we want to grab the one in the center here or you could do off to the sides it really depends on you and i'm, I'm not going to do a whole lot of manipulation on this i think you guys already have the gist of it uh and then i'll hit enter and then we'll just go ahead and place some uh gems out there gems on ring rail 
select our curve that'll be this one and we'll select that and we'll go ahead our target surface and again we'll have to hold down shift control and select that uh, and then bring those gems on over right and we don't want them down too far because uh, we need to be able to uh, cut a rail out so what i'll do is i'll go to wireframe here we'll go to the right side wireframe it and uh, let's see let's go ahead and make these a little bit smaller so that we can drag them up a little bit more somewhere and we can kind of use our uh, line there to kind of get it to where we want it let's take a look at that in all perspectives give it some shading uh, and our spacing's a little bit uh, wide there so let's go ahead and maybe clean up some of that spacing so we can get something like this all right uh and we'll definitely need to go ahead and uh our girdle we'll drop them down to table and actually we'll go ahead and drag them in a little bit more using a wireframe to kind of adjust it a little looks like they're just about touching right there so that's oh that's not what i want Put that there. This is what I want. Yeah, a little bit. Okay. And that should be okay. So let's go ahead. Make sure, yeah, that should be fine. Uh, go ahead and take that. We'll select those gemstones. Uh, go to our cutters right here. This cutter here. And let's see, we want to change that from round to, we'll go to uh, flat. And we'll drag that down a little bit, something like that. Kind of keep checking back and forth, see, make sure everything's okay. Uh, and we'll change that cutter. It's not one of my favorites. So we'll go to something like this here. And we'll drag that up which opens that up nicely for us. And we'll kind of drag it to where we think it's gonna be okay. Uh, let's take a look. All right, so far so good. And we want to open this up a little, something like that. And maybe drag this down just a little more. Let's take a look and it should be okay. And we can drag that placement something like that should be fine all right so we have that out here right and we'll go ahead and accept that and we'll just go ahead and uh grab uh well we'll select off of this we'll go ahead and grab this and this right uh, and then we'll go to our front view here we'll go to rotate copy yes from f4 and we will snap right to our mid here right uh, and then we'll just kind of bring it over to here bring it over to here every other one or something parent intersection and you could mirror that that's that would be fine i'm just going to go ahead and put them out there because it's not that difficult <laughs> uh and we have something like this right all right so we have that and let's check our before we yeah we should be good to go uh so let's go ahead and do that boolean so let's grab our solids we'll do boolean difference this will be our first surface enter and we'll grab all our uh, orange there our cutters and then hit enter and let's take a look yeah it should be fine all right and we'll hit enter all right so let's grab our cutters we'll change them to gray uh, and let's grab that uh, curve there and get rid of it. Uh, and what do we got? Yeah, so far so good. And now what we'll do is we'll grab one of these. We'll go to our settings. Uh, and we'll just do prong placer. And the first thing we want to do, of course, is uh, drag that height out a little bit. We want to make those prongs, give the jeweler some uh, meat to work with there. And it looks like that spacing is really pretty good. And I like the prong thickness. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead 
and select my prongs again because I must have uh, accidentally clicked. Go to my end, and I'm, we're going to nudge those end ones out just a little. Kind of match our others there. Something like that there. And let's see. We'll go ahead and go back to this because that looks a little small compared to the others. Better to have too much than not enough we can just file that away we want the metal to come down over the stones but if you're going to just do it for a rendering you can probably just go ahead and, and bring that in just a little something like that but i would uh keep get those out a little bit all right so we got that and now we'll go back to our uh, front view and we'll grab those prongs and we'll do the same thing we'll rotate uh copy yes from f4 and we'll snap to there over to here over to here here and here now we have them all out there right uh so you know this you know you could stop here if you wanted uh there's a lot more we can do though and i'll show you a little something here like that how do we get that little curve right there right uh so let's first i mean i, I would do this uh Let's see, you go to my solids, go to my uh, flay edge, do a blend. I would do this to all of them. Uh, go ahead, chain edges, yes. Select that one. That one. That one. And make sure my preview yes is on. Preview yes. 0.05 should be fine. Let's go ahead and check that. We'll hit enter. And we'll hit enter. We just want to smooth that off a little bit, right? And we'll check that. And we still have a close poly. I would do that to all of them. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to sit here and waste your time to do it with them right now. Uh, of course, you want to put your cutters in there. Uh, so I would do that as well. Uh, but let's talk about grabbing this. Maybe we want some design in here, right? So uh, you go to your curves. And you come all the way down to from object here drop down and intersection and we're going to hold down shift and control and select this one and this one and we're going to make sure that's on yellow there uh, and this one and then we're going to hit enter and it'll give us our line right there right so now we have that intersection between the two pieces right so we'll just go ahead and grab that We'll go to our solids and maybe we want to spruce it up a little bit give it a little bit more uh look or whatever and we'll grab that in position kind of go back to our where we can kind of see it i guess okay, you don't want to go all the way down probably but like this one's probably a little bit too far down where's my start position my start is way under there so we definitely don't want that and you can uh make those uh bigger or smaller depending on what you're going for uh and we can uh move that spacing in a little bit too as well so maybe something like that let's say now let's give it a little bit more lock it up a little bit more something like that hit enter we'll take those go ahead and change it to purple then again go back to our front view We'll select those beads there. We'll hit rotate, yes. Uh, well, actually, we don't have to. If, it depends on where you want them. If you just want them with the top, if you want them all the way around, uh, you just have to go to transform, go to your pull array, and I think it was 27, wasn't it? So we'll just type in uh, 27, hit enter, and there you go. There's all your beads uh, out there. And there you go. You got a pretty quick design van not too bad looking for what it is and do your cutouts there and you're you're good to go smooth those edges off all right so hopefully this will help it's a pretty quick video it's pretty easy to do but uh the look is not not so bad you could even go in there and do more designing or whatever uh, but uh just wanted to give you another option as far as how to uh go about changing things up a little all right so good designing and uh talk to you later thank you